cares about everyone else's health and well-being, and this is a, a tragedy that, that never should happen to any family. Many people are sharing messages of support and hope for the child of an Altamont family. The little girl was seriously hurt at the Effingham County Fair yesterday. Good evening, I'm Karina Rubio. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. We first told you yesterday it happened during the Harness Horse Racing event. Today, fair officials canceled all horse racing for the rest of the fair. We have team coverage for you tonight on this. WCIA 3's Jamal Williams is live in our newsroom. And Theodora Kulavaris is live in Springfield. We're going to start with Jamal. Do we know how this happened? Well, Jennifer, police have not been able to confirm anything yet, but we do know the starting gate hit her while she was in the stands. People I talked to said the community is rallying behind Harper Finn, hoping for a speedy recovery. We're very uh, uh, sad, and we pray for a family and pray for this little girl. In his 38 years of being part of the Effingham County Fair, Board President Philip Harkey says he's never experienced anything like this. Uh, every fair strives the best they can for the for the safety of the folks coming here, and, and we think we're we do the best job that we possibly can. Tragedy struck over the weekend after five-year-old Harper Finn of Altamont was hit by a starting gate that went in the grandstand during a harness race. Fair officials decided to cancel all horse racing for the rest of the week out of respect for the family. But the family is well known around the community, very, very uh, active in the, in the community, very well known. The, the little girl was actually one of our Little Miss contestants for the fair. The community is also showing support by organizing a fundraiser for the Finn family. The Illinois Harness Horse Association started a GoFundMe page that has far surpassed the $10,000 goal. Sheriff Paul Coons says situations like this bring everyone together. It's such a tragedy, and, and we feel it down to almost every person because we're, we're a fairly close-knit community and we know these people, so it is a tragedy. He says he's praying for a recovery and that the family can survive this. I know some of that family. My officers know some of that family. They're, they're good people. And they're also um, heavily involved in the horse racing. We're still waiting to hear the back of the. We're still waiting to hear back on the condition of Harper Finn. The GoFundMe has already already surpassed nearly fifty thousand dollars so far. Live from the newsroom, I'm Jamal Williams, WCIA three, your local news leader. Jamal, thank you so much.